Hi there, young learners. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers, where we make learning fun and engaging. You already know about probability and predictions. Today, we are going to take it a step further and explore how we can express probabilities using fractions, decimals, and percentages. Get ready to boost your math skills and have some fun. Let's revise, what is probability? Probability refers to the chance or possibility that an event will occur. We can find probability by this formula. Probability ranges from 0 to 1. If something is impossible to happen, its probability is 0. If something will surely happen, its probability is 1. Now, let's determine the probability with some examples. Imagine we have a box with five colored marbles, one blue, three green, and one red. What's the probability of randomly picking a blue marble? As we know the probability is the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Here, that's one blue marble out of five total marbles. So, the probability is one by five. What about the probability of picking a green marble? There are three green marbles out of five. So, the probability is three by five. And what's the probability of picking a black marble? There are no black marbles in the box, so the probability is zero by five, which is zero. It is impossible to pick a black marble. Now, let's see how we can express probabilities in three different ways, fractions, decimals, and percentages. Here's an example, in a poster-making contest, 18 participants come from class A, and 7 participants are from class B. What is the probability that the winner will come from class B? The probability is the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. That's 7 participants from class B out of 25 total participants. To express this probability as a decimal, we divide the number of desired outcomes by the total number of outcomes. So, 7 divided by 25 equals 0.28. To express it as a percentage, the probability in percentage by dividing the number of desired outcomes by the numerator and the total number of outcomes, then multiplying it by 100. Put a percent symbol on the probability and the answer will be 28%. Let's try another example. There are 26 red cards in a standard deck of 52 cards. Let's express the probability of getting a red card in fractions, decimals, and percentages. The probability as a fraction is 26 by 52, which simplifies to 1 by 2. Don't forget to simplify, as a decimal, 1 by 2 is 0.5. As a percentage, 1 by 2 is 50%. Let's do one more example. What happens when a number is drawn at random from 1 to 25? What is the probability of getting a number greater than 13? There are 12 numbers greater than 13 out of 25 total numbers. So, the probability as a fraction is 12 by 25. As a decimal, 12 by 25 is 0.48. As a percentage, 0.48 is 48%. Amazing, right? Probability helps us make informed decisions in everyday life. Probability is the chance of an event happening. Probability can be expressed as fractions, decimals, or percentages. To convert fractions to decimals, divide the numerator by the denominator. To convert decimals to percentages, multiply by 100. We use these forms of probability in real life too. Meteorologists use percentages to predict the chance of rain. Sports analysts use decimals to determine winning probabilities. Doctors use fractions and percentages to explain medical risks. Here's a fun fact. Probability theory, as we know it today, was developed in the 17th century by two French mathematicians, Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat, 
while trying to solve problems related to gambling. Another fun fact. The first book on probability, The Doctrine of Chances, was written by Abraham de Moiva in 1718. This book laid the groundwork for modern probability theory. Did you know that probability plays a crucial role in computer science, especially in the development of algorithms and artificial intelligence? For example, search engines use probability to determine the most relevant search results for your queries. That's it for today's lesson on probability forms. We hope you enjoyed learning with us. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better you'll get at understanding probabilities. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more fun and engaging educational content. See you next time.